Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today we're going to do a um, really quick technique on how to add fills to a complex profile. So I've got two complex profiles here, both lapsiding. Uh, I have a video, which I'll link to in the description if I remember, about how to do lapsiding or how to do siding. Um, but anyways, so I've got this complex profile, and uh, you know, here it is. Now, on another project, I've got this complex profile. It looks very similar, but there's one key difference. Um, I'll go back to the original one. You notice I've got here airspace. So I've got the back of the complex profile filled in, so it's one continuous line. Whereas on this complex profile, um, the same pattern is showing on the back as the front. What that means um, from an ARCHICAD perspective is this is a very heavy complex profile, and this is a very light one, um, because the back of this has one face, whereas the back of this one has a whole bunch of faces, which means ARCHICAD is calculating more faces, and ARCHICAD is calculating shadows, and ARCHICAD is just working hard to do things it doesn't need to do. So in general, when you do complex profiles, you want to make them simplified. So for instance, um, the lap siding wouldn't actually be flat across the bottom, but We've simplified it to make it that way so that we don't get extra lines in elevation and also so that there aren't any gaps so that ARCHICAD isn't adding more faces um, or facets. So that leads to the reason why I'm doing this video is uh, how do we fill in all those triangles, right? There are here a lot of them. It's going to be a pain to fill them in unless you do a super quick trick. Um, and that is to create a boundary uh, and fill that in. Now, with complex profiles, we can't draw polylines, which I would do on the plan, so we're going to use fill. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, make an arbitrary fill over here, make an arbitrary fill here, uh, close that off. And so now what I've done is there is uh, a definable space in there. So I'm going to pick my building material, airspace, magic wand that in there. Now I can delete these. Now I have that it's filled all that in. And then I'll just simply drag this edge over to um, where I want it. And there I've done it. it. Took you know just a couple of seconds, and I've now created all those fills. And when I apply this, um, this complex profile is now uh, a lot less problematic for ARCHICAD. It's going to be a lot easier uh, for the model to generate and to do all those things. So that's a quick tip on how to fill in weird spaces that are left over in a complex pile profile, or really anywhere in ARCHICAD where you need to create a lot of um, small fills or fill-in gaps. So. Uh, Hopefully that's going to save you trouble on some random project, and uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks.